At some point while searching for the trim dynamic brush in order to do a bevel, you may have accidentally run into the trim adaptive brush. And your reaction was probably, that's a stupid brush, why would anybody ever want to use that? And what it's good for is rocks. What I would recommend doing is change the alpha. You can actually make a custom alpha that will give you the rock shapes that you want, but I found that this square alpha does a pretty good job. And you'll notice as we start to carve away at this, it starts to immediately take on a kind of stony component to it. I've found that it works best when you're working in reverse, so holding alt and building up the rock tends to go a little bit better than uh, subtracting it away because you get this sort of layered effect as you go. You can end up with some crazy geometry pretty quickly though if you're not careful. So you usually need to know what it is that you're trying to go for shape-wise and then this brush ends up doing a really good job of giving you that sort of broken edge feeling. If you're trying to deal with a corner like that, I think this is where the trim dynamic would be very useful because we can smooth down that edge. And now on this new bevel, we can actually use that trim adaptive in order to kind of take those planes in a different direction, assuming that we've got a little bit of geometry in order to work with here. It's not elegant, but it will get the job done and get you that sort of rock-like quality more quickly than maybe trying to sculpt it by hand.